got my new structure scan set up here. And these uh, transducer arms here. Need to set up in place before I head out. Got two different transducer. This is the standard one and this one is for the structure scan. I'm using the torpedo motor in conjunction with my paddling to go even faster. Depth finders in this structure scan is a great way to get the lay of the land. But as soon as I understand what's going on out here, I shut it off. Uh, what I'm really seeing, I can actually see on the surface. You can't always, but I can today. And that's really these foam bubbles. And there's a collection of them in a lane running right out here and back in that direction. And I ran, I zigzagged across it, and I can tell that I got some sort of structure right out here, whether it's a pipe or an oyster reef or there's something out here. Um, and the current is rolling this way, and these foam bubbles, this calm water on the, the down current end of it, it's actually the north side right now, um, is where I'm marking fish, and it's also where these foam bubbles are. So I don't really need the... Uh, the depth finder right now because I know I know what I've seen and I know they're here. I came ashore to show you the new Lance HDS7 with structure scan. Um, I got the combo, I got them bundled so I could have both. The head unit here I put into the slide track system. Just got some hardware there. It helps mount that right where I need it, right at my fingertips. Um, I put in an order with Hook One to get these two um, transducer mounts. I got one on this side, one on the other. I have two, and this one's actually the um, the structure scan. This long, it shoots a uh, signal out to both sides. And that signal actually goes to this box here. And that gives us the, uh, you know, the view of everything out to the side. The other one just goes straight down. I got my batteries mounted here together. Uh, I actually decided to use one battery for each. And just to keep them from sliding down underneath the seat there, I bundled them together with this uh, big pool noodle. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it out on the water. Maybe scan the uh, Bay Bridge pile and see what they look like on the structure scan. Four. Get off this pile. And 
On the right side is the, the structure scan. I think it's already, let's see if it's picking up the, uh, big old pole to the left of me. I think I gotta be going at speed for it to really register well. We got two pilots here in front of me. Let's see if I can get them to show up here on structure scale. I'm gonna hit it at speed so it makes sense. So crank up the uh, torpedo here. Looks like I had some fish over here on the right. how deep it is so if it's if you were to, to hit a, a trench in there it goes straight and then bump out and then go down but as it were we just have the uh, those two bridge pilings right there I think it's something that's gonna take a while to figure out you know to, to kind of get an eye for what you're looking at just like when I got you know my first depth finder for the first time now I don't need structure scan to tell me there's some bridge pilings off to the right and left of me, but I think where it's really going to pay off is those rock piles that are kind of out in the middle of nowhere as you're just cruising from spot to spot, rip to rip, you're going to look left or right and say, wait, there's something out there, let's go put a jig on it. Stuff that you, you just wouldn't know is there otherwise. This one isn't bad, but I lost one that was huge. I mean, just, I could do nothing with it. It just kept going and going and going. Uh, this one followed it up from the bottom behind one of the pilings. And the one that I missed, the one that I missed was on the side that had all the current slamming into it. Which is contrary to how I caught them last last time on the pilings. It's just sort of interesting to me that you know it's a see a fishy. It's a lot like smallmouth in the river. The big ones position on the upstream side of things in the summer when it's when it's hot. It's like they cool off with it. They lack a little breeze. Behind the bridge piling. I want to pull him away from it. I got to back up. I want him near the pilings. That's a good, good one. Beautiful fishies. They're starting to turn on again. It was exciting this morning and then it slacked off. And uh, you know, they're, they're starting to pick up again. It's a 19 and a half. Just had an 18. Getting some good fish again. It's, it's all about that current, I think. You know, I'm, I, I stopped paddling for a second and now I'm pretty far away from the, the bridge piling. And when that current gets up, they eat. When it's slack tied, it's, it's tough. I don't know, I went. I probably went 
the, the middle of four hours that I've been here, only catching two. As soon as I got here, I had seven, like one right after another, it seemed. And uh, now I've just gotten three or four hits in a pretty short period of time. So they're, they're turning on again.